Hey guys, this is Mike Cricket 113. Happy Labor Day. Uh, I'm out in the yard today, as you can tell. <laughs> and uh, you see that big tree there. One of these days I'll be using that uh, for a wire antenna. But uh, for right now, I'm talking about this uh, 23 foot uh, IMAX, Solarcon IMAX 2000 that I have in the yard here. I use it for 11 meter uh, in the shed there. I got an 11 meter radio. But uh, I got some a 25 foot run of coax that's sitting on a 15 foot pole. Uh, it's gas pipe I got linked together, and uh, works great on 11 meter. Talk to a bunch of locals in the area, like two or three towns over, uh, sometimes four. And then uh, on skip DX days, you know, I've talked as far as Iowa on a stock radio. Um, anyway, but uh, right now. I got a uh, that 25 foot run. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, there it is. I got that coming out of the bush there, and it's just laying across the grass. And there's my shadow, <laughs> and it's laying across the grass. And I got it hooked up to a hundred foot run of uh, LMR 400. I just put some. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but that's that silicone tape I was telling you guys about. Uh, it just sticks to itself. It's not, it's, there's no adhesive on it, but you stretch it and it starts sticking to itself. I did this because I'm going to keep this wire out here this weekend. And if it, uh, depending on the weather, I'll take it, take it out, bring it inside if it's going to be bad, raining, but uh, it should be all right. Uh, but I want to keep this connection dry. But anyway, I got that running right across the grass here. And I want to be able to, uh, figure out I'm burying it. The only problem is I got this uh, concrete here uh, going on here, but I, the wires just running right out to the siding and the gable and then into the shack, as you guys know. And there's my uh, Tram 1480. But anyway, I just was on uh, the local retired net in Southeastern PA, and uh, they were hearing me pretty good, uh, giving me about an S9 signal down to Chad's forward which is right around uh, Longwood Gardens. And another buddy of mine, uh, he's in, uh, he's north of me. He, I was giving him an S9 as well. So it seemed to be working. There wasn't much uh, skip going. I didn't hear anybody, but uh, uh, you know, we'll keep trying on the 10 meter sideband. Like I said, I'm just a technician. So I do, what is it, 28.3 to 28.5. So everywhere in between there. Uh, so I'm really great, happy to have the uh, the Max experimentally hooked up to the uh, <clears throat> the Yaesu 991A. Uh, this is a 0.64 uh, wavelength for 10 meter, and uh, so we're going to be uh, giving it a go this weekend. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to use it to listen to the other bands to see to see what I can hear. This should be able to pick up a lot more. Uh, obviously in the lower band section so i'll just be listening on those bands but uh yeah i just wanted to share you that with share that with you so this is uh mike cricket 113 and uh testing out the imax 2000 on the uh yesu 991a i hope you guys have a great weekend and uh if i have any uh contacts or hear some stuff tonight i'll post another video so have a good one 73 and I'll talk to you later.